Just like training for any important goal, it's a tough but rewarding journey. Heart attacks are as serious as it gets, and not something you would ever take chances with, right? Yet it's really common to speak with someone after a coronary event, and hear they felt like something was wrong for a while, but didn't get checked out. The warning signs of a heart attack are actually pretty clear. They can start hours, days, or even weeks before you end up in the hospital. Sometimes they come and go, but just because the symptom goes away, it doesn't mean you're out of danger. If you know the warning signs of heart problems, and you seek treatment before it becomes an emergency, these warning signs could save your life. It's up to you. The symptoms to watch for might not seem out of the ordinary, like feelings of indigestion, muscle strains, or running out of breath when you're active. That's why it's important to learn how to recognize when these feelings might actually be related to your heart. The one we hear about most is chest pain. It's described in a lot of different ways, like pressure, squeezing, burning, or discomfort felt in the middle of the chest. The exact description of the pain isn't too important here, because under normal circumstances, you shouldn't be experiencing chest pain at all. If the pain goes away after resting for a couple of minutes, we would call that angina. However, if it lasts for several minutes and increases in intensity, we worry about this being a heart attack. We all get occasional aches and pains, and these might occur in the chest area too. My rule of thumb is that if your chest hurts when you push on it, like with your thumb, then it's likely a muscle or bone injury, not a heart problem. The second big sign is pain in the arm, jaw, or neck. You might feel it in just one spot, or it may travel around. Again, how you would describe the pain is less important. One person may call it a shooting pain, while others would call it tingling or numbness. The third is experiencing something like nausea, shortness of breath, sweating, or feeling faint. These might not seem unusual if you've had a heavy meal or tough workout, but if they're showing up for no reason, then it's a real concern. Now the big bright waving red flag is if you feel a combination of these symptoms at the same time. If this happens, you need to get to an emergency department immediately. I strongly recommend dialing 911, but some guys are even too stubborn for that. If nothing else, have a friend drive you to the hospital right away. Context is important here as well. If you're pushing yourself physically and something is wrong with your heart, you're more likely to experience the warning signs. This is because you're exceeding what we call your threshold, meaning your heart isn't getting enough blood and oxygen. It can be scary to think there might be something wrong. A lot of guys would rather ignore the warning signs than get themselves checked out. But it's far easier to address heart issues and maintain your health in advance than it is to recover from a heart attack. Pay attention to what your body is telling you. And if those symptoms we discussed sound familiar, talk to your doctor as soon as possible. Thanks for listening.